Welcome back, everybody. I am Seaman. I'm a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination Player, and today we're playing Progressive Capitals on the Classic map. We're playing as the green player out of the first position. Got a lot of pink up here in, in Europe. Maybe pink will go there. I... The classic's map, tough. I'm, I'm kind of card blockable in any position I take, but we do have a one point... Uh, or two point North America and South America. Pink might still go here, even if I cap here. Um... I think I'm going to take it, because I think blue probably goes to Australia. I think we're just going to play from this. I I, I could have gone up here in, in Europe, but I don't have... I got more material down near this cap than I do the, than I do near this four. I'm kind of split. Nothing in the middle of the board. Uh, Middle East position on this map would have been very, very good. Pink might still cap here, hoping that that doesn't happen. But yeah, we're playing Progressive Capitals on the Classic map. I had a request from somebody in the comments uh, about a week ago asking if I could play the Classic map. So we're doing that today. And hopefully it goes well. White does not cap on any of this material in North America. They have 11 troops over there. They don't use any of it. Pink does... Okay, pink goes Iceland. That's going to nullify the red hold. Red might still cap on that uh, on that Greenland 5, but uh, blue goes exactly where we expect. We don't see yellow, but uh, we actually have a two-point North America with both our capital and pink's. Pink's going to have a very, very strong capital there. We're not going to hit his four. Oh my gosh, red does, in fact, cap behind pink. That's a, that's a very card blockable cap for red. Very risky play. Um, I'm going to let pink attack out, I believe. Probably leave my four here. Red's got so much material to clear here that we could potentially cap uh, uh, capture that capital at some point. We're going to attack with our four over here. I'm going to put one troop on it just to have the uh, a little bit extra material over here for visibility. And we have yellow in southern Europe here. So yellow in southern Europe. We got a nice 11 cap. We're not going to lose that anytime soon. Um, so we'll see what yellow does. I think that might lend white to having either a North Africa or East Africa position. White does cap after the yellow player, but white is not anywhere in North America, so that leaves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hang on, did I count that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 territories that white could potentially be capped on. We don't see yellow's initial attack here. Uh, is he going to come down? He does come down. He loses a troop there. He sees red's cap there. He actually technically doesn't know that mine is here. Uh, but there's a lot of white material in North America there. Yellow pulls into capital here from what looked to be Western Europe. So I wonder, white's committing material to North America. Very strange. Loses one. Knows my cap is here. Fortifies up. So maybe he's just going to use that as a little... Uh, Kind of trading area. He's not going to be able to get out of here, and he knows both of our caps here. I don't know why you would commit any additional material to that location. Now, we could see Pink potentially rolling. No, he's going to roll material next to me. Does he roll out? All right, he rolls out. So the benefit of him rolling out here is that we know nobody is capped on North Africa. So that actually is going to narrow. And we saw yellow fortify from Western Europe. So that's going to narrow White's cap spots down to Congo, South Africa, Madagascar, East Africa, India, Siam, China, Mongolia, or Japan. And uh, I, I think East Africa is probably the most likely of a potential white capital there. We are going to see blue clear out the entire pocket behind them. They're going to be the first player to take a bonus. They lose four. 13 on three, lose four. It's down to a nine. They still have to hit a red two, I believe, is what that was down there. Um, a two or a three, it was still some strength. And so... Blue's going to have, uh, oh, he has a straight fortify down to capital, though, it seems. So red's turn now. What is the red player going to do? We have the benefit of going directly after red, so if they make any sort of foolish plays, we'll be able to play off of that. They have a ton of material to have to remove over here. They're just, I would just take one and, and, and sit. I would not continue trying to remove the rest of this material. Um, they do exactly that. Our four cannot escape, I think... I think I just go for the bonus on this one. Um, yeah, we're just going to go for the bonus. I don't anticipate pink breaking me. So we have no exit for our capital right now, but 
I'm not super worried about that. I want to position myself to hit red anyway. Ideally, a two-cap hold on Venezuela and Iceland here. Boom and boom would be the best possible position. I'm partially zoomed in there for a potential thumbnail, uh, but if I control all of it, that would be even even a better thumbnail. Um, <laughs> always got to be planning, everybody. By the way, support on the channel has been great lately. Uh, greatly appreciate everybody for, uh, for for providing that yellow again. Did not know this capital was here, so I'm not surprised that they're just now stumbling on it. Um, I would not make additional attacks here. I would just fortify in. Oh, is he going to remove as much of white as he can? He doesn't know that this is... He's going to... Yeah, he didn't know that the pink cap was there. I fully anticipating him, anticipate him stopping now that he sees all of that pink material that he didn't see before uh, because he knows now that he doesn't have a play for this bonus. So, ideally, I'm able... Yeah, there's white right there. Not surprised by that. So, white actually has a pretty strong capital, surprisingly. Um... I don't think they have this yet. I don't like their... They should just use the 8 to attack with. I'm just... I'm going to move the 4 away down into yellow, I think, on this next turn. Um, we'll leave the 4 up top here. I just don't want red to get any silly ideas about hitting it. Pink attacks. Pink is uh, over-attacking, in my opinion. Locks his cap to yellow. That's a curious play, for sure. Leaves the five there. You're never going to have this bonus with the double capital play here. I almost want to see red overly aggress pink's cap at some point. Um, but I think we almost want to start committing some material outside to remove red's externals. But it looks like white is capped on East Africa. We've got blue down in Indonesia, yellow in Southern Europe, red in Greenland, myself in Venezuela, and the pink player up in Iceland. Cool. I haven't played Classic Map in a while, uh, especially not on the channel, but uh, I listen to requests. If you guys have any requests for maps you'd like to see me play or settings or anything along those lines, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. Also, if you're new to Risk, I have a video on my channel, How to Play Risk. It's a five minute long video. It doesn't cover the, the particular settings, so if you want to disable, if you want to attack faster, do it, disable the camera animations. Uh, and the phase change animation and the end phase confirmation, those three things mainly are the most important things to make sure you that, that you do, in fact, remove those. We're going to put this material up here, and we're going to start attacking in this little pocket. I'm actually going to hit white. I don't want to hit red uh, just yet. But we'll get a nice, strong capital. Have an external position so we can remove red and eventually card block them. Even if they have this bonus, they'll be forced into both me and pink. Um which is ideal, and I want to make sure I have an external position. That's, that's the most important thing with picking a, a potentially lesser capital, uh, I, I could call this, um, is making sure I have an, at least one external position, and the 7 seems like it's a good spot to be. Um, but yeah, if uh, if you want to go, if you're new to the game completely, and you're into the first, uh, first 8 minutes or so of this video, go check that out, and uh, and maybe gain some more insight on, on how the game works. So there are some concepts I discuss where maybe I don't run through them all the time and you can gain uh, gain a little bit more understanding of, of exactly what is uh, is going on. So white has this eight stack. They're going to use this as kind of their external to attack with as well. I hope he's not thinking about breaking me here. I hope this is just defense. No, he's using that to take. He leaves the three there. Again, I think just for a little bit of defense for when he uh, ends up holding this bonus. I don't feel a need to defend with uh, with troops, especially with an external stack. I don't really ever want to hit yellow on this too, because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to hit yellow on that too. I actually would prefer to keep yellow and white back here to have potential kill guards if these players aggress each other. Pink, yeah, red's gonna get. I mean that those are cap troops, I believe. Red is going to get. Uh, Red could get greedy here and try to roll this capital. We got the three here. We actually have the 16 fully pointed as well. Uh, yellow open to us, but uh, white's cap not open. Oh, blue's going to whack my seven. Mm. Blue is going for Asia. That's very frustrating. I added to that thinking he wouldn't hit it. I think that might have been... Do we think that was cap troops? Do we think he got greedy with cap troops? 
Because he lost, he lost five on that, and he attacked once more, I believe, after that. I'm. I think I'm going to take a risk here. I've got a 16 cap. I don't think I'm in jeopardy of losing it. Our risk will be entirely determined by whether or not red tries to roll pink's cap here. No, he does not. He hits white. He sees this eight here. Hits my three. Thought that might happen. And then stops. Why would you do that? I don't understand that play at all. All right, we're committing everything out here. I'm not going to add to cap on this turn. Um, I want to see if he doesn't have anything on capital. He's playing like a bot, so I think he might not have anything on capital. Oh, he's got a six. How did he have all this, all these troops? I mean, that's an incredibly weak capital. I'm probably going to get slapped now because I just whacked a bunch of his material. Uh, Blue's playing this game like a like a, a true random player. We're playing with balance plus dice. You can see neutral neutral AI behavior, but his is a very very weak capital. And uh, well, yeah, yellow's just yellow's a, a good player. Um, just got unlucky where with where the other cap shook out, but I don't, I don't think yellow is a bad player at all. I don't know why he keeps slapping pink, and, and he's forcing pink to hit him back. So I think what's going to end up happening in this game. Now, I would love blue to attack off capital here. We're going to be the first setter. We actually don't have a set right now at all. Um, I wanted to see red hit, hit pink. Because I want to see pink waste troops here. Where red hits pink and takes the capital, but has it nice and weak. But I think the issue here is that pink's going to attack with this 10 stack, finally get it back to capital. Now, blue hit my seven, and maybe this was just a sign of retaliation. I honestly didn't think he was going to have that. With seeing how many landmines he had in here, I, I had no confidence he was going to leave anything on capital. Unfortunately, I think he's going to dump all seven of these troops on one of these fours and come hit my five, and then we'll have to take in North America. Um, no, he's just going to attack with a four. Sees the five. Does he stop now? Leaves his cap open to come remove this position. Now he attacks off of capital. He's going to come hit this five, isn't he? How smart are these other... He doesn't come hit the five. Okay. Because the, the question was going to end up being how, how smart are these other players, but he doesn't come all the way out. 25. Now, we uh, the pink cap has been reinforced. Red actually has a card elsewhere, seemingly. That they just used. Was that... Has white gotten a bonus yet? White has not gotten a bonus. That red card must have been down in Africa. Because I don't think they... They didn't have any troops in here. And we saw the other position they had in North America... Or, sorry, in Asia got removed. So let's just go three here. We're going to go rest on capital. Nice 20 cap is fine for now. Not going to hit... Let me hit here. I don't want to hit blue. He's completely off cap. He has nothing on capital right now. Blue has absolutely nothing on capital right now. If yellow moved this seven, I could actually progress. But but so the previous turn he was holding troops on cap. The only way he has anything on cap is if he pulled it from behind. Does yellow notice this? He sees the eleven. Do you go through the six? Oh, he does. Well played. Yes, yellow noticed. And he gets the cap. Yep, he got the capital. And that's going to enrage blue? Does he split between the two? Great play by yellow. Uh, maybe a little bit aggressive for how early we are in the game. We might see an early set by the blue player now because he lost the capital. Six goes over there. We don't know how much he lost taking it. But this could actually prime us perfectly with blue's turn coming up. If we see blue jump back to one cap, uh, the potential for... Either a kill on yellow. Oh, white. Did white just yoink that capital from yellow? Or did... I think white finally took Africa. I think that's what all of those attacks were. So we're not going to be the first to trade in here. Pink is, is pretty weak. 
And Pink's only getting five. Actually, Pink might not have a card. The only card he might have is onto white here. No, he does have a card next to yellow. Okay. Yellow's seemingly kind of weak. Blue's, gonna, blue's only getting three? Yeah, blue's only getting three. Do we see him set on four here? Just to have troops to go hit that yellow capital. Or is blue going to feed... Because now I can feel a little bit more comfortable sitting in North or in, in Asia here. White can take cards in here without breaking me. Seize my capital. Now here, here's the play, right? The play is... Oh, wow. Blue does not take the capital back. Blue's going to try to capture Asia. Blue's going to try to hold Asia here. So we'll hit pink and, and dive back. I don't want to take the cap from yellow. I don't want to try to take this. I'm not going to have the juice to do it anyway. That was like absolutely the wrong play by blue. Now if red takes North America, I think I let him because his he's going to end up stacking against... Like he'll hit me here and now he doesn't have any cards. Does he keep going? No, he stops because he needs to make sure that he has cards. Now that his... I believe all of Red's externals have been removed, which was exactly the goal. We're going to make this a 10. I'm not going to aggress blue at all. We've got Peru, Venezuela. Uh, Venezuela's capital will take that on this turn. Get an extra two troops off of it. Nice 29 cap. Red had a pretty strong cap. We're going to hit... Uh, I don't want to open up pink's cap to yellow's cap, but we will hit pink... And then give him a card. We'll go right back to where we were. We don't hit blue at all. We let yellow potentially kill blue. It will not set him in uh, for much. And I don't think it'll be worth the kill if he goes for it. Because he'll set on six. If he kills blue, he'll set again. Do we have a set on three? We do not have a set on three. And our capital is not pointed at the yellow player. So I think yellow actually manages to hold down both of these caps now. And... Uh, because of that, Blue's game is effectively over. So 7 plus 6. Uh, we had at least a 7 dumped on this cap down here. The question is, does Yellow feed this kill? That's the hope, right? Blue sacks himself into the into his original capital and then gets his kill fed. By the way, I want to uh, just run through the players in the game real quick. Uh, the players we have in this one. We have myself, Green Player, Grandmaster Level Player in the first position. Oh, okay. It seems like yellow maybe fed the blue kill to uh, to white. Great heads up play by the white player. Might even be able to score the yellow capital off that if blue does in fact die here. Um, yeah, well played. Not sure it's worth the investment, but um, well played nonetheless. It'll, he'll end up on five cards after this turn anyway, so I think it's certainly worth the investment. Yellow really fed that. You needed to keep him kill guarded behind you, I think, to make sure white didn't make that play. White brings everything back to capital, um, which is a, is a smart play. Yellow saying good game. I don't think the game is over just because white got that kill. Now, pink is the, is the real wild card in this one. Um, hopefully they don't hit my nine. It would be pretty foolish. They're going to hit my nine, aren't they? The pink player is not very good. Please don't hit my nine. Why are you doing that? You can never take that bonus. That's just a, such a bad play. <sighs> Hopefully red hits the seven. That play by pink is just such a garbage play. I understand taking away uh, an external position from a player who, you know, is threatening you, like if it was red, but pink is the weakest player on the board right now, and and they do that. I just don't, oh, that's such a frustrating play. I knew I, I should have just hit blue. I should have known that white would go for the kill on blue, and I, I would have been out of the territory. He probably wouldn't have hit me, but the, pink is just a happy, slap-happy goofball. Uh, red comes down this way with a 15. We're not going to break red. I'd let, rather leave red card blocked.
I'm gonna leave that. Hmm. I don't like that he's got that pointed at me. I'm sorry, White. I really don't like that Red has that pointed at me. That is... That's very frustrating. It's down to 19. I just kind of got to play a little passive here. Um, yeah, Yellow's in a great spot now. Now, if Yellow was smart, set in, kill White. He sees me break. He can afford to check this. He would full set in off of this for 25, but he'd have to split between three caps. 15 goes there. I would have committed everything onto that capital. I think he could have killed White. Uh, he doesn't, he's not going to roll it. Wow. Interesting. So, my review... Uh, sorry, I didn't go through all the players. Yellow player, uh, Norwood Hein. That's how I'm going to pronounce that. I think that's the Christmas Island flag. Um, it is. Correct. Uh, the white player, Jay Gatsby, 624. Uh, he's going to unfortunately break me here. Um, no, he's going to it's going to block me. Okay. Well, that's obnoxious. Uh, I'm going to have to set in here. I mean, worst case, I have the hits on red. Yeah, so, so white knows what he's doing. White player from the U.S. knows what they're doing. The pink player has absolutely no idea what they are doing. And I would love it if red just whacked them. Because red's not going to have a card here, right? Red's only card is going to be to hit pink which is why he should have backed this 15 up because he has no external position so there's a chance that the pink kill actually gets fed to me here if he rolls he doesn't roll does he back the 15 up he does all right so i'm i'm gonna hit red yeah. at least for this one turn does back the, he backs it up so that it can retake that's frustrating um but at least we'll be on five cards i i would have just put it on capital and then you can kill pink i honestly think he probably should have i think the trades are high enough where it justifies killing pink right then and there you got the 15 that you could fortify if in case you fail that um but realistically i want white to take a card off of me and then i can go kill pink and then i can trap red on my own uh, but we got to weasel our way out of this spot. We're in a, a tough spot because of the way that that cookie crumbled uh, with the blue player. I wanted to take the blue player's capital. Unfortunately, I was just out of order there where yellow had the better advantage to go to go get it because his cap was open to it. And I could have taken one of the could have taken the Scandinavia cap that's more open to the board. I was kind of hoping to bonus off of the position that I had. White sets 30 bomb. 48's not going to hit me. Okay, it does. Thanks. <laughs> He's probably going to leave that there too, which is the worst part about this. The worst part is if he leaves this here. I don't know why you set there on, on three. I really don't understand that. I don't know if he thought he could kill me. He definitely thought he could kill me. In no world did you have that. You should have been paying more attention. Hopefully he backed it up to capital because I'll go kill pink right now. I don't imagine pink is strong in the slightest. They have exhausted so much material throughout the duration of this game. Red will take back here, um, which is delightful because I'll set in, and if we can kill pink, we'll go kill pink. But if I can't kill pink, um, or if white's just blocking me here, I'm not going to do anything about it. Yeah, red, red backs that up. Unfortunately, red, I'm not going to take a card off of you because of the way that the white player decided to play this game. Uh, let's see if he's sitting here with that giant stack. He is not. All right, we're going to go kill pink. Uh... 48. What's this roll? 26? Oh, we can't kill pink. Well, here's my new goal. Ah, uh, well played.
But I, I kind of buttered pink up for red here. I think pink's just going to trade in and hit me, though. That's the problem. He, he, he did the little laughing emote, which is humorous to me, but... I didn't want to hit all of pink. I wanted to find a spot where I could hide my troops. Um, which is unfortunate. Yeah, yellow comes down here to check the white cap. Now, white could card block yellow pretty easily. But yellow doesn't want to cause problems. He took the he took that cap when he could. White doesn't have a set here, so it's not like he can kill me. But he could kill pink. He might have enough troops to kill pink. And he just attacks off there. Um, all right, so pink sets in here, gets the 40. And so now pink is going to be much stronger than me, which is very, very, very unfortunate. Um, I just want him to make a mistake. As long as that mistake isn't sacking into my capital. I would love for him to come down here and see the yellow capital and be like, oh my gosh, I can take that so easily. Um, that would be ideal, but that's going to feed him to red. This guy has absolutely no idea what he's doing. I mean, you hit me first. You hit my nine earlier, but now he's upset that I took all of this territory. Very, very, very bad plays by the pink player here. And I'm going to lose this eight, which is obnoxious. I absolutely don't understand this. You're just hurting yourself. It's honestly so, so frustrating to watch. I'm just trying to place some troops off to the side. I pray to God red kills him here. Because red doesn't have a card. White did not take his card on this. He kept his cap open to me. We need. We essentially need to set whenever we can. Red sets. Does he kill pink? Does he roll that cap and kill pink? I think he's going to. But he doesn't have much time, so we might actually have the opportunity. No, he doesn't roll it. He does not roll the pink capital. Maybe he's trying to get pink up a card. Um, white won't have a set here. Yeah, white can't roll my cap yet. I'm not worried about not setting. I, I want to set in as late as I can, but not have white hit me. So I'll set in on the next turn here. Uh, we'll get... Plus two off of Peru. Be able to break any sort of card block that somebody sets. Um, but maybe red is gearing up. You know what? No, red fortified this two up, though. So red skipping cards. So he had a trade there, but he, I would have just killed pink. You have the position to kill pink, and you don't take it. It's very, very strange. Why would you do this? Why? I don't... I don't understand. I can kill pink. I, I can actually set in off of a kill on pink though here. But the problem, and I, what, just give the cap to red? I don't think that makes a lot of sense. I want to see if red rolls the pink cap first. But I don't know why yellow broke me there. I really, really don't know why yellow broke me there. Because I don't want to give red a card. Oh, why did yellow do that? Just out of curiosity, maybe, to check the capital? It's just a frustrating play to have to deal with. And I'm in a bad spot now because of pink. Pink sets in. Hopefully pink is not open to me. Because pink could actually legitimately kill me. Um, which would just be the biggest stroke of luck I think I've ever seen. No, he just takes toy. But now red can't hit him. You know, <laughs> uh, so I can't kill him. There's not, no reason for me to do anything. I guess just set and take my territory back. Call it a day. Keep red blocked. There's no point in me giving red cards. I'm going to set in though because I don't trust that white doesn't have a set on this next turn. And the thing is red, if I need to, red and I can infinitely trade with each other. Yeah, he's holding the 10 here. Not surprised by that. Could have hit it if I wanted to. 
Uh, this is actually a bad play by White to not let me have cards. Because this will get Red and I infinitely stronger with each other if we just keep trading. Um, not infinitely stronger, but comparable with everybody else. And, and you can't card block us if we're trading with each other. Unless you opened one of us up to, to giving each other cards. So we're just going to kind of sit here and observe what these other players do. Yellow seems to be wasting his time on either white or pink. Um, which should just draw the ire of this player. I actually have no idea how the pink player is still alive. I really think red could have killed them for, for four cards. Uh, or, or at least three cards. And had a better position. Because red... red uh, well, all right. Did I run through? Yeah, General Asker, uh, blue player was General Bowler from Canada. Red player, uh, unequal constancy from uh, from the United States. The the red player intentionally camped behind pink. So white sets now sixty trade. White setting on three is weird to me, unless he's going for a cap slash kill. And 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 it doesn't unless you can full kill yellow here. It does not make sense to hit yellow, because yellow will set uh, himself. I think white just rolled a cap, which is expensive. I mean, yellow didn't set in before that, though. But he's got a set now. So we'll have to give red a card here. But I think we'll be able to... I think I have to imagine yellow's going to gonna hit white pretty hard on this next turn. White is easily the best player in this game. He's making smart decisions. Pink is the worst. Uh, I think yellow's better than red. But not as good as white. I think red's very apprehensive. Red's probably like a very much a play for second place type player. Doesn't want to roll caps unless he's certain he's going to win. Doesn't he? Also has the worst understanding of the board uh, of, of anybody. I think I probably I think white has the uh, or yellow had the best understanding previously. White probably second best. Pink uh, only slightly ahead of me. Maybe not even. I honestly don't even know if he's aware of where that original blue capital was. But I feel bad because I'm, I'm, it's going to take me a turn to, to actually give red that card. Um, yeah, it still doesn't take that. But I'm giving you a card in this turn, sir, because I am being blocked. Uh, well, I'm going to try to dice roll this before I hit the cap, I, or before I open up red, just in case. I'm going to do that just in case. Worst case, it may, if yellow has lost their capital, it makes it easy. I might as well try. All right, we get one. Let's keep it churning. Get another one. He's rolling a lot of sixes here. Ah, we do better right there. I'm just trying not to... Uh... Come on. Keep it coming. One more good one. Nope. Got one dice left out. We win all four of these. We do not. Uh, I didn't want to have to deal with the block there. But we'll give Red a card. I mean, if White opened me, that would be awesome too. Yeah, Yellow, uh, Yellow only has Australia. He lost the Southern Europe capital to White. But hopefully he sets in here and just yoinks it back and White's in a bad spot. I have a set I can go exploring. But I think it's likely that that yellow uh, or that white is split between two capitals, like effectively now. He probably got pretty good dice on that, especially if he came off his original cap. But yellow's uh, yellow's going. Interesting play by white. I actually think. I don't think it was a mistake. I think he saw that this cap was weak and knew where where yellow was, and, and probably didn't open up that capital. But if pink opened it, then it's another story, right? Yellow could come and, and do some pretty hefty damage. But the fact that white did that to set on three and take a cap, um, if either of these caps is available, I will take it and split on it. Um, yellow fortifies back. Ten. Uh, yeah, that's double capital plus bonus here. Fortifies in front of me. I gave red a card. Pink out to Pink's credit, they've been keeping their cap fairly strong. 
I don't want to set in just yet. I'd rather get to five, trade with red and get to five. Because I think red will be open to trading with me. So I think this will just go right back. And the two of us will get cards. I don't want to set in yet. I don't even want to open up white. Like, I see what white's trying to do here. And I'm going to let him do that. I'd rather just trade with red, get to five cards, and then and then break white and see what we can find. White was getting ten. Yellow is now up to nine. But I don't think that's a second capital. Three plus five. This would only be eight if he had this. So it's... I think white has two caps still. I think yellow just had a bunch of territories. But yeah, I get what white's trying to do with the block here. It's quite annoying, honestly. That was a bad move. That was actually an awful move. That's a really, really bad move. Opening up my cap there, terrible idea. Because now I can come out. I can come out with a full trade-in. I'm just going to take another card on red, and then and if white doesn't set on three... I might be able to yoink a capital. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Uh, the, the break here makes no sense. I'm not going to... Pink comes down in here, too. <laughs> I hope pink hits me in a different spot so I don't have to give red a card. Like, I want him to hit one of these two territories. Um... Although... Here's the issue. I think I still have to set in... I think I still have to set in because, no, because white's split between two caps now. He's not strong enough. So we'll just keep trading with red. White, white can't kill me. We'll get to five cards. White shouldn't be able to roll this. He'd need an individual 250 cap or so. Yellow's getting 16. Yellow's holding Asia. What is going on? So Pink comes down here to try to see what's up with me. Uh, probably after me laughing. And Yellow is holding Asia. I mean, if White doesn't have a set on three, a one-two punch from Yellow and I next turn could be devastating for him. Unfortunately, it'd probably feed the kill to, to White versus me. Or, sorry, feed the kill to yellow. But, yeah, white's got to be careful here. So, pink breaks him. I keep myself open. We're also giving red potential sets here to potentially hit pink. If red's got a set on three and pink gets on five cards, red could actually comfortably hit pink on this next turn, I think. But we're going to get a 70 trade here. Central America as well. We're going to lose out on that. So we'll use Northern Europe instead. Because red will hit this. Um, but a set on three here. I can see red going for pink, man. I I almost think it's worth... Because the problem is, is that white knows he can't ever stop this exchange between red and I. Um... I would almost love to let Red out and let him have Iceland. And just kill Pink, get Pink off the board. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We got 208. I'm just going to go... We're, we're gaining some knowledge here. 59. What kind of dice do we get on that? White's on a set. Can't kill him. He's been kind of a jerk, though. What do we think Pink has? 134. Just... Alright. Well played. I fed, uh, the goal here was feed the white kill. White was acting like a jerk to me. If yellow lets me live. I don't have a set. Pink might come kill me. I'm hoping yellow sees what I just did, understands that the white kill has been fully fed for him. 
Come on, dude. I fed it for you. I, I gave it to you. That is not it. That is just absolutely, positively not it. <sighs> is he going to leave this up here? Yeah. White sets. I'm going to die to pink here. I got terrible dice there. I was hoping for an even roll. It, I thought it was worth the risk. White does not set here. Oh, he's going to come in and take this. No, he's going to come up this way. Oh, he just killed himself. He just sacked for the kill. Instead of trying to win the game, he just sacked himself. Play for the win, dude. Yeah. And pink's going to take my cat. Pink's going to kill me here. Or red sets in and just takes this cap. Either way, somebody's going to fumble a bag here. Because pink is... I've Pink's been mad at... I didn't do anything to pink, but pink's been mad at me this whole... Oh, my God. Pink just takes a single card. Oh, even if red even if red sets here. If red sets here and takes this cap, I don't care. I kill white and I set it and I actually live. Oh, Nelly. That's fine. Lose a bunch. I was good to you, but this is fine. Well played. Lose a bunch. He's trying to... Why? Just roll it, dude. What? I'm glad because he's wasting time. And I will double set... Okay. 59 on 32 is not possible. Uh, and I don't know that he... I don't think he realizes that the white kills on the board. And he's totally card blockable here. Red's actually going to get very strong off of this, which is quite annoying. Um, he's making... Oh, did he just take the cap? He just took the cap. He's going to fortify to it, too. Oh, that's like the worst. So I can kill white. If I don't know... Well, nothing... Wait, yellow got 16, right? Yeah, so white's only in here. It's only got 15 on this. I might as well just roll that. Double set off of that. I roll this. I take it. And then I hold a double position. And we just try to coexist with yellow. We'll trade the uh, these bad boys as well. That somehow, some way, worked out in my favor. And do I have a set on three? I do not, but that's okay. This cap actually doesn't have a whole lot on it. I wonder if he's going to go check out red here. Breaks me. Does he dip into red? Well played. He might roll that too, and then red's card blocked again. I think he did. And that's going to weaken yellow considerably. Also piss off red. Oh, is he going all the way up to the top cap? That's a bad move if he is. That cap has a bunch on it. Like, a lot on it. I think yellow's still got a, quite a bit on this lower capital, though. But that was an entire trade-in sitting out here. I'm also a bit worried about pink. I should correct myself. I'm a lot worried about pink. Because pink is just kind of gung-ho, wild behavior type player. But we managed to... Yeah, like, he could sack and lose here. Just please don't hit the capital. I would just really love it if you didn't roll a cap. Okay. Yeah, go look at yellow. That would be great. I don't have any idea where this player is right now. 
Like, how much do we think yellow had on cap down here? He fortifies back. I just wonder if he rolled it. Because if he rolled it, yellow is killable. Red has cards available to him. I wonder if yellow opened up the entire cap. Somehow, pink very well might finish this game in second place. We're just going to do... We're doing a little bit... Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a curiosity play here. It's just a little check on pink's capital. Just to see if they rolled the other one. They did not. Well played. Um, Alright, we're going to take the bonus back then. Not going to break yellow. I'll pull this back in. We should be all set. I don't think yellow breaks me. Yellow's got the bottom right and bottom left now. Right? Two plus twos. Two plus twos and two capitals would be my guess. Um, no, 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 no. Hang on. Twelve? Two plus twos and two capitals would be... Ah, what is Twelve. One capital's five. Second capital's seven. Yeah, so so two plus twos and two capitals and twelve or more. Tw twelve to fourteen territories is what yellow has here. Now is he hitting pink back? No, he doesn't he doesn't if he did, he didn't open up a like a barrier here to pink. I need to set here, but now I have the middle of the board, and I feel so much more comfortable in the middle of the board in this late game. Managed to take a risk. I thought I was teeing up white to have yellow kill them. I apparently was not. I have a set here. Does pink go down into the left into yellow? Yellow's on five cards. It's bold play to do that. It's going to break me. And he goes in on yellow on the left hand side. Does he stop? He's going to see how much was there. He stops. He doesn't roll the capital. So this would be a 300 bomb. Pink, I, to Pink's credit, he has been playing much better in the later portions of this game than he did in the early portions. I, a little too curious with the troop rolling here. I do want to give him pathing. He hasn't rolled like a single capital, which is kind of interesting. Let's get this up to 100. Um... I want, again, this cap is, is the more important one in terms of positioning. I want that to be the strongest capital. It's very possible that the yellow player could have been softened up for a kill, but I, I want to, I haven't done anything wrong to yellow the entire game. The whole game, I have been nothing but good to yellow. And I'm trying to leverage... I think I can beat the yellow player in a 1v1. So I'm trying to leverage that ability into yellow doing most of the damage to these other players. Which he did damage to red. He took that capital. The problem is, is he keeps... Instead of trading with me in pink, he's trading with red. Maybe he doesn't do that here. That's a, I mean, these are 100 trades. I don't know actually why pink didn't roll that capital. Could have split between that and held a pretty strong position. Yellow holds this. If yellow breaks me, I mean, we're not going to be good neighbor to him. But um, unless he's going to actively card block, why are you? I, I don't really understand that. Uh, we're going to give yellow like one turn of benefit of the doubt here. I do not understand why he broke me there. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But we've managed to restabilize. I would actually like to lock pink's cap. Force him into the additional yellow territories on the right hand side. This is actually a bad play from him, I think. Yeah, I, I don't think locking your cap is smart here. Um, makes you a very easy card block. He actually fortified some material from bottom right up there. I'm not sure what, but... Pink, uh... Oh, there's the red set. Pink was getting... How much? Just five. Yeah, red just takes a card. Now, I would leave that giant stack a bit external, but you do you. 
not going to break yellow here. We're going to let yellow make a play. But yellow's been a little too slap happy, so if he does break me, I'm not going to I'm not going to stand for it. I'll just leave troops here to block him most likely, but I don't want to block him on a set. He's turning into a bit of a bully and I don't think pissing everybody off is the right play, but he's you know white pissed me off a little bit and and I took advantage of it, but I'm worried that the yellow player won't care if he pisses me off because he's he's seeing that red's not doing anything when red's pissed off and he's seeing that pink pink isn't doing anything either. Um, but after pink's next set, I think I can card block pink. I, I just don't know why you can't be a good neighbor. I haven't decided to hit you and, and you keep opening up my capitals. I'm just trying to get a more level set above, above pink, pink and red, but it actually does not benefit yellow to open me up at all. Every time, the next time yellow opens me up, I should probably just leave him alone. Because these caps, I mean, this is a really strong card block position. Pink is taking cards off of yellow. I mean, this is a two-point card block up here, but and I would have to trade with yellow. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to set that. Um, I'm fine if, if yellow is going to to be the one dealing with red. The problem is he keeps giving red cards. I don't know why he won't just trade with us. Um, but he keeps giving red cards. And the more cards he gives red, I mean, the longer this game's going to take. He has prime, he has a capital to card block. He has my original capital. Um, yeah, my original capital. He has cards in Asia he can take. Uh, I'm going to hit here. We're gonna, we're gonna hit him here, but he's on four cards. So I'm not gonna actually try to block him there. I'll block him when the time's right. The time is currently not right. We have a set. Sets are 120. Very interesting game so far. Classic Capitals, it's... Not my favorite, but I know that this is quite literally the most popular map. If not solely by necessity. I think... Yeah, I think white had had enough of me. Okay, yellow takes... Yellow's taking Asia. So maybe he's not hitting red. Maybe he is not giving red a card here. That's... I wouldn't get overly greedy here, buddy. And he opened up the capital. That is such a bad play. If pink is smart, and pink knows that, I think pink knows that yellow has this capital down in South America, which my original capital was not good. I didn't want to hold that. I'm glad red took it and didn't put much over here. If pink is smart here, now I have a set, so if pink does something crazy to me. I can do something about it. He's going to have a 400 stack come down here. He should come roll this yellow capital. I don't think it's that strong. Now he only comes down with a 14. Wow. Leaves his cap open. Yellow is on five cards. Why... Not just go take the cap, Pink. Because now Red's going to... Or, or, uh, does Red still have cards? Red still has cards. So, Yellow wants this game to take as long as possible. I'm going to set in. I don't trust Yellow at all. Uh, I don't want to lock my cap. I'm going to hit this. I'm not going to block pink yet. I, I can't because yellow opened up the cap. Cap. I can't block him. Uh, I, it's got about 400 something on it. I'm not even going to bother checking. I can't block him. 
So there's no point in trying right now, but there is a point in opening him back up to see if he wants to go off cap and navigate down there. I Again, I don't know if Pink is skilled enough. I think Pink's still pretty new to the game. They're smart enough at capitals to keep troops on their capitals, but they're not... Their, uh, their board awareness and not even, like, I guess it's decision-making. I, I guess it's technically decision-making. Like, decision-making is just a little bit questionable. Now, obviously, I made a questionable play hitting the white cap. It was honestly just trying to progress the game. It, it worked. White is eliminated, and we're back to uh, pretty decent health. We're actually... Probably stronger than pink now, ever so slightly. It took a bit to get back to that point, but um, I did get 180 troops off of a double trade, so that certainly helped. Now, here's the question. Does yellow just sit next to pink with this stack? Like, does this 140 just... Yeah, the 140 is just going to sit there. Uh, and that was... That was his entire stack, right? It was started as a 146. Now, if pink wants to, he could come beat the brakes off this thing. Four forty-five. He's gonna beat the brakes off the left side here. Don't like that he's breaking me. Goes in on yellow here. Take the cap, please. That's okay. I think he's that that to me says he might have been a slider the capital. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up this nice little yellow stack right for uh, for yellow. I think pink took the cap. The problem is I think pink dies now. I think red takes this Iceland cap, right? Red sets in. What is happening? Uh, Red took, I think, took a cap there. We'll see in one more turn. If he came up top, he stops. I hope he doesn't have a double hold here. We're going to get a little crafty. I would set in off of the pink kill. Um, all right, let's check. Pink didn't fortify, did he? He didn't fortify anything away. Wow. Oh my god. And red split between his caps. We're not going to hit yellow. We're actually not even going to give yellow's big stack a path out. Well, I, I, I did give him a path by accident. I have a set. I would like to use it. I want to see what does yellow do here with his big stack does he keep going because i'm hoping i would love it if he just goes and sacks into pink and i can get the double kill off of this because he's upset that pink just rolled his capital maybe he's trying to see if if red yeah, he sees that i dipped in there he's gonna go he loses eight on a three that's tough um i would not split here i would just fortify back he stops does he does he leave with it It's going to sit here on four cards. Or does he keep it in there? He might try to keep it in here to get it to block pink. Now he pulls it out. He's going to pull it out, right? Yeah, you got to pull it out. Now the question is, what does pink do? Does pink come out and come hit this? Pink sets in. Pink might go for a kill on yellow here, and he might fail it. One attack. We should see the second one here. Yeah, he doesn't hit red at all. Comes up. If he blasts the 144, the kill on yellow is free. We've got a set on three. Um, we come off our cap. We don't set in off of the kill. He hits. Yeah, that was yellow. Okay. Yeah, he hits the 144. And he does not lose much at all. He might soften this blow for... We need him to hit that capital. Absolutely need him to go hit the cap. He won't have three caps. It won't flip the numbers at all. In 
and red gets to play here. So pink definitely just rolled the cap. Gave red this cap down here. Fortunately, red doesn't set off of that. Probably going to be playing a 1v1 against red. I have to blast whatever is here. I have to. I can't not take it. Red's taking a very long time to decide what they need to do. But yellow needs to die this turn. I need to kill yellow this turn. But my lord. Um, hopefully I can kill pink. Is red botting? No shot red bots in a near 1v1 here. You played all this time, bro, and you were doing so well. I mean, despite the card block position, the persistency of this red player I've, I've admired greatly, but I think he's botting out on us, which is so very sad. Yeah, he has botted out, but I think he deserves second place based off of the, the skirmish that these two players just experienced. Uh, I am going to sit in here. We're going to dump everything on this because we know that Pink did not fortify there. So I'm going to go... Uh, we're just going to go a little bit off of this. Red d dumped a 142 there. Okay. All right. I want to... Uh, I don't want to kill pink first. I want to kill yellow first. Yeah, we're going to give... We're going to reward pink for the aggression and also punish yellow for... Being kind of a goober. Um, this was such a strange game. I'm upset Red bought it out because I think Red could have made a play there. Um, I think Red could have made a play there. Kill Pink as well. We'll give you know I'll give Pink the third. I I just thought Yellow played a bit goofy. Um, Red is botted, so I think that's going to be the game, everybody, but, um, you know, he doesn't have a set, so I might as well just do that, and then pull this forward and leave, like, a hundred down here. I am thrilled, thrilled to have taken home this win. It took us a while. Classic uh, classic caps tend to do that, unfortunately. Uh, we've eliminated these players. If I had to guess ranks here, um, again, we're just for our own protection in case this guy comes back. Uh, let's go up this up to here. Um, there's a joker. That should expedite this a little bit. I mean, it's a question of whether or not he flags first or I'm able to take his capitals. <laughs> That's the biggest question. Uh, yellow, I give intermediate. White, I would give master. Pink, I would give beginner. Uh, blue, I think blue is firmly a novice level player. And red, I think, is probably an intermediate level player. We'll take a look at what those ranks end up being. Uh, once the game fully ends, which could happen anytime soon. The moment red flags, this game is going to end. Um, but I don't want to pull everything off capital. I, it is unfortunately that, that he bought it out. And I'm honestly just trying to to talk through the time here, but those are my guesses for ranks. We'll take a look at what they actually are at the conclusion of the game. We're going to set in. We have a nice horse trade, so we don't have to use the Joker. We can get back-to-back -back sets here, potentially roll some caps. Um, and by potentially roll some caps, I mean absolutely roll some caps. I'm just going to take the cards here because I think I can kill him on the next turn. I'm going to come off cap. The chances of him coming back and stealing that cap with me staring down his throat right now, not very high. Uh, at this point, I hope I can just kill him and and not have the game flag him out while I have one territory left to remove. Uh, but GG's to my fellow opponents. Um, the white player really kind of gave us this win, and, and also red for not just fully coming and killing me and uh, and white. Could have gotten both of us in the same turn, but fortunately did not have the, the full board awareness there. So uh, let's take a look at the ranks of the players in our lobby. Um... Yeah, I think yellow, I gave yellow third because I think yellow poked the bear a little bit too much. I saw more, weirdly more trustworthiness from from pink towards the end of the game compared to their early gameplay. Okay, I was a little flip-flopped here. Blue was intermediate, which I'm surprised by. So we flipped blue and red kind of in my mind. 
Uh, I had blue as a novice, interestingly enough. Pink was a beginner. White, I gave a little bit too much credit to. White was only an expert. I had them at master, and then I did have yellow at intermediate. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Upload videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what, what you thought about it. If you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you, right here above my head, subscribe button in the upper right-hand corner. As always, everybody, I've been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.